Uh, what's up guys? Uh, today's video we are going to be doing a video on the Jawbreaker. Only because this is my April palette. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm going to be doing a palette every month. Like a new palette. But don't mind that area. But I'm going to be doing a new palette every month. And basically I will just be switching it out kind of. Because I want to do like, I want to use my palettes more. Because I feel like I'm usually stuck on the same one. So, for April, because it is the month of Easter, I thought this would be the best palette to choose. Because it had, like, pastel shades. But then, I got Bloodlust, and I was like, Ooh, should that be my April palette? But it was too late. So, we're just going to do, like, two different eye looks, one on here, one on here. Okay. Uh, the first look is going to be on this eye. Well, I am well. First, we got a prime. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna wash this right off. So I'm just gonna use my shape tape because I'm not. Oh, actually, I should do that one later. So I'm gonna do shape tape, and then <sighs> what am I gonna do? I'm gonna get this brush. This is an It Cosmetics brush. I really have been enjoying this. I bought it during the 21 Days of Beauty sale. Super cool, super nice. Ooh, yikes. So, I think I added too much. But, who cares? Okay, so now that we got that. The cool thing about this concealer is that if you're just doing like eyeshadow looks, but you're not going to be wearing it all day and stuff, um, it's pretty good. Okay, so like that, and then, so I already have, uh, sure, let's see, what can we do here? Should I do like quads? Like, like should I do it? Like four, four. I think I'll do that. That way, that makes the looks a little bit more interesting. Okay, so Ugh, hold up. Let me get my brushes. Oh my god. Okay. So there. We are So we are gonna go into the shade Virgin. Oh, that's pretty white actually. No. We're gonna go into the shade. Which is like a it's like a oh, what do you call it? What's the word? It's like a hot coral. So I'm just gonna get that on a Morphe four five six. Okay, there's no color on this, so let's go into it. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Ooh. Okay, change of plans. So, I'm actually gonna get cute. So I want to get um, the same Morphe 456, but I'm actually going to, it's like the same brush, but different. And then I'm going to grab Cute, which is kind of like a teal. And now I'm just going to pop that right here. And I'm going to try to create like a halo eye. Um. 
Now we are going to grab the hot coral pink. And then basically we're just going to pat that right on the center. I don't know why this shade looks so soft in the pan. That looks pretty cool, actually. Hmm. Oh, yikes. So there we go with that. Then I'm actually gonna grab a big fluffy brush. Probably this Morphe 441. And I'm gonna grab Good Morning. Uh, and then I'm just gonna uh, use this light shade to blend out the edges. Well, actually. I'm going to grab the blue again. I'm going to use cute. And I kind of just want to blend the edges with the blue with the blue. And then I'll use the rest. So I did that. And then I'll grab good morning. And kind of just use that to diffuse it. Yes, that looks so smooth. Damn. Okay, so now we got that. Uh, I want to see what happens if I put that hot pink just on the lower lash line. So, let's grab... What are we going to grab? I need like a small... You know where it at, bro. I have like a million brushes. How, how can I not find? Okay, I'm gonna use this. This kind of like hurts my. Oh no, definitely not that. <laughs> Psych. I have to have one. I have to, bro. There's like no way. Okay, whatever. I don't want to use this brush because it's kind of like, what's the word? It's like too fluffy for my lower lash line. Like I want something more dense, but it's going to have to do. So we're going to grab uh, the hot coral shade. And then I'm just going to go on the my lower lash line. And it's the same shit that we use for the center of the lid. See, the thing I hate about these fluffy brushes is that they get shit in my eye. Okay, hold up. Uh, I'm gonna grab. There's a brush that I normally use. And I don't know where it's at. Oh, here we go. Finally. Uh, this is the Morphe E36 brush. It's like the one Morphe brush that doesn't scratch my eyes. So this is the only one I can use. I do want to get the Wayne Goss brushes. I'm so excited for those. So, just... And because this one's a little bit more dense, it puts on a little bit more color. So I can really pack on color down here.
That's cool. I think I'm actually gonna grab the shade and kind of try to pack it on my finger. Only because I feel like it's like fading, you know? So. And then I'll get a clamped finger. So I, I did feel like that kind of helped. And then... Okay. So now that we got that, now we gotta use the shade Bergen. But I'm gonna be using kind of like a... This is my favorite brush for inner corners. I always switch, but this one's a really good one. This is a, a Morphe 321. I don't know what it is about it, but it just like picks up an insane amount of product. Like, dude, that is ridiculous. Like, what the heck? It does that to any shade, too. Like, I don't know what this brush is made out of, but... They killed it. But it's a very scratchy, so I can't use this to blend. I only use this to pack. I'm going to put this, like, right there. That's cool. Even, like, tapping it now, it still hurts. But, I guess the job done. I'm going to try to blend it, and then I'm going to repack it. Look at that. All over again. Jeez Louise. I swear, this brush is wild. Ooh, what if I use this brush to, like... Ooh, you know what I should do? I'll do that but up here, too. So it's, like... That's cool. Oh, I love this look. I don't know why this gave me like a clown vibe. I love it. Pretty snazzy, pretty snazzy. Uh, cool beans. So, now let's move on to this eye look. Uh, let us do... I felt like I wanted to do smoky. I always like doing a halo eye and then a smoky eye. Ooh. That's gonna be kind of hard because there is no deep, deep colors. But we'll make it work. We'll make it work, boo. Okay, so, um, step one is going to be to prime the eyeball. Go with this thing. Put that right here. Probably put too much again, but, oh well. I want to go through this concealer because I want to buy a new concealer. And I just want to, like, buy more stuff. You know what I mean? Um, I lost my brush, though. Oh, here it is. So, Let's go. Cool beans, we got the eye all primed, primed and ready to roll. So, step one is going to be I will grab this little blender brush. This is a Morphe 50 506, and I want to do something kind of like interesting. Well, actually, let me pat out my eye real quick. I don't want it to be like too sticky, but I want it to be kind of sticky. So, 
we are going to go into the shade Gumdrop, the lavender shade. Uh, how am I thinking? So I'll do that. Mm. Honestly, I don't know what to do actually. So I think I'm going to use Gumdrop to deepen out the outer V. So I'm going to put it kind of like a dash like that, like a wing. Oh my god, what's in my eye? Oh, I have like a dog hair in my eye now. Okay, dog hair out of the eye. Then, so I'm just going to keep, oh my god. Uh, I hate when I have like a whole eye look and then my eyes starts getting so itchy. Look at that. Purple just evaporated. Shoo. Okay, you know what? This ain't working, sis. Uh, I have to grab a white. My favorite white is... Drug Lord. The only reason I like this um, as like an eyeshadow base is because it goes down matte. So, it works pretty well. It goes from like cream to matte, so... So now it should be a little bit better. So, Gumdrop Part 3. Pack it on. Let's see how deep we can make that. Honestly, it might be just because, like, the shade. Let me actually go in with that brush that was, like, crazy. Um, the one that I use for my inner corner, I'm going to try to use this to pack it on. Uh, this is the Morphe 321, in case you want to get it. Yeah, that's probably going to be way better. Hmm, yeah. Oh my god. So I think I'm going to make this like very, very runway-esque. Super long, like that. So, now we're going to incorporate the pink, but I'm going to grab this Morphe 506 brush and then go into bubblegum, which is like the bubblegum pink, of course, and it's really not picking up on this brush, let's hope it, and I kind of just want to put it like in the inner third right here, just like that. Oh, that actually is like really nice. And then I'm gonna rub the extra on my the back of my hand and then kind of just like use the same brush and then kind of just like blend it upward. And then use this to blend it out, up, up, up. Cool beans. So we got that. And then what I want to do is I'm basically gonna finesse that all that yellow like 
I want to do it like that and then like pull downward. So I'm going to grab, dang, this is like the brush of the year right now. Uh, this is the Morphe 321 again, but I'm going to grab, wow, wow, the yellow. You see what I mean? I'm like, look at that. Um, so I'm, what I'm basically going to do is pack this on here like that. And then see if I can pack it and use the Morphe 330, the Morphe 36, the little one that I use for my lower lash line on this side. Uh, but I'm going to use it to grab the yellow just to pack it on because this yellow will not show up. Pick up. I don't know why, but this eye is giving me like Easter bird vibes. Okay, we're almost done. When you want something bright under your eye, you basically have to like go into the shade and like pat it on. When the shade goes away from your brush, you kind of pack it on again. And then you'll just like blend the edges later. And then I'm just going to flick it under the purple okay so we got that do you see how it like highlights your eyes this one looks more droopy than this one isn't that weird it's so weird like this eye definitely looks smaller hmm. the magic of makeup okay so now we gotta go into that Shack snack shade. I'm gonna go into the Morphe 321 again because I love this brush with shimmers. Oh my god, picks them up so good. Look, nothing on the brush, right? So I'm just gonna put that right over. It's not even showing up. What? Who will own my house? Let's go back and there we go. I'm just gonna really finagle this. Oh, oh my god! It got in my eye. Oh, it burns. Oh. oh, look how bright it is, though. I want to put more. Kind of like that. That's wild. So yeah, that's both of the looks all complete. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I want to do more of these, so... I just say that I have to go wash my face, so... You know what? I think next video, I'm probably going to film it right now, but it's going to be me kind of just watching palettes because I'm bored. So yeah guys, I uh, will talk to you later. Um if you want to follow me on my social medias, they will be in the description right below. So love you guys. Don't get corona.